Egypt never disappoints when it comes to new and exciting discoveries, and the past few years have rewarded archaeologists with the most intriguing and fascinating discoveries. Not only that, but with the continual improvements in technology, we're making new discoveries out of old discoveries. And today, we're going to see what's been happening in Egypt over the last few years. Number 16. Unsolved Mystery Roughly 3,200 years ago, an Egyptian woman left home and never returned. She was with child and in her early 20s. They eventually found her body at a copper mine in Israel, and that's given archaeologists a whole new way of understanding life back then. Egypt used to control that region except for a place called Timna, which was inhospitable. Despite this, Egyptians would head there in winter to extract metal. It was always believed that only men took the journey, but now there's proof that women did too. Studies have confirmed that she was an important figure, as only those of status received a proper burial at Timna. It's thought she could have been a musician or singer, as her grave was located nearby a temple dedicated to Hathor, who was the Egyptian goddess of mining, women, and music. Number 15. Six Feet Under There seems to be no end as to what archaeologists are digging up, and not too long ago they pulled up a huge black granite sarcophagus in the city of Alexandria. What makes this discovery unique is the sheer size of the coffin, which is 72.8 inches tall, 104.3 inches long, and 54 inches wide, making it the biggest one found in Alexandria. Researchers also found a large alabaster head in the same tomb, which is believed to represent who is buried there, but that hasn't been confirmed as yet. There's a layer of mortar between the lid and the body, which means that the sarcophagus hasn't been opened since it was closed up over 2,000 years ago. The site dates back to the Ptolemaic period, between 305 BC and 30 BC. Number 14. One Foot in the Grave It seemed the ancient Egyptians didn't just bury their deceased, but also statues that they worshipped. In 2014, archaeologists uncovered a pit next to a temple in Karnak. Inside was a statue of Ta, the god of craftsmen and sculptors. This statue was worshipped, fed, washed, and scented, and it's believed that when it got damaged, it was given a proper burial. Alongside it was a carved cat, sphinx, and baboon. The life of the statue ended around 2,000 years ago. The sphinx was there to provide the statue with protection, and the way it was laid out, researchers believed they were getting the statue ready for a rebirth. Number 13. Bumper Year 2018 has proven to be a bumper year for discoveries in Egypt, and Egyptologists have reason to celebrate their impressive find outside the city of Minya in the Nile Valley. There, they discovered a large necropolis, but in these parts of Egypt, they didn't bury civilians or pharaohs, but rather priests and their families. In one tomb that belonged to a high priest, they also found 1,000 statues and an additional 40 family members, all in their own sarcophagi. The priest's internal organs were stored in canopic jars adorned with hieroglyphics. The priest was decorated with beads and bronze sheeting. It's estimated that it will take five years to fully catalog and study this impressive find. Number 12. Dig Deep 2017 was a good year for an Egyptian-German archaeological team who were working in northern Cairo in an area called El Matarea. The team unearthed two large fragments of a gigantic statue. It's believed the statue is of King Semetic I, who was the ruler of Egypt from 664 to 610 BC. It's quite possibly the largest statue to ever be found from the late period. It's estimated to have weighed 7 tons and have been 26 feet tall. It hasn't been an easy excavation due to rising water, rubble, and industrial waste, but you can see what they discovered at the Garden of the Egyptian Museum in central Cairo. Number 11. Left a Mark Over a century ago, two shallow graves were discovered with the body of a man and a woman. They weren't of major importance, as seen by their humble burial, but they have made a huge contribution towards the history of body art. On their arms were some dark coloring, which was largely ignored up until recently. In 2018, researchers used an infrared scan to take a closer look at the markings and discovered they were actually tattoos. On the man, they found a bull and a sheep, and the woman had an S-shaped design set to symbolize status, courage, and magic. Number 10. Earth to Earth February of 2018 also yielded some amazing discoveries for archaeologists when they found a 4,400-year-old tomb just outside Cairo. Authorities are hoping this amazing find will revive the dwindling tourism industry of these parts. The area where the tomb was found is home to a number of tombs from the Old Kingdom, and it's believed to belong to a woman named Het Pet, possibly related to Egyptian royals of the 5th dynasty. 
The tomb is made from mud brick and has wall paintings depicting Hetpet watching, hunting, and fishing taking place. The paintings, which are in good condition, also show a monkey picking fruit. Number 9. Get the Lowdown Luxor is well known for its ancient architecture and tombs, and in 2017, two of them were breached for the first time. Estimated to be 3,500 years old, it's thought they held high officials as this cemetery was designed for the elite. The tombs were unusually small but had some other interesting touches. For example, one grave had a courtyard which led through to a tunnel that was connected to four chambers. The wall decor led researchers to believe it's from the 18th dynasty. The second one had five additional entrances which all led into one room, which was packed with artifacts. Number 8. One Step Closer The Great Pyramid of Giza will always remain a great mystery, but now researchers believe they may be one step closer to solving it. In order for the construction to take place, 170,000 tons of limestone was shifted from Aswan to Giza across 500 miles. It took 800 tons each day to get the pyramids as we know them today. Not too long ago, a papyrus was found detailing how they managed to do that. Merer, the overseer, tells how thousands of workers used wooden boats to transfer the blocks along the Nile to a port that was located near the base of the pyramid. Number 7. The Garden of Eden For quite some time, archaeologists have suspected that the ancient Egyptians planted gardens at the entrance of their tombs but had never found concrete evidence. All they had was illustrations on the inside of tomb walls, but a recent discovery has finally yielded the proof they needed. They found a garden on the Dra Abu El Naga Hill in Luxor. It was a 3 by 2 meter garden and Dr. Jose Manuel Galan of the Spanish National Research Council believes it's doing to provide fabulous information about botany and environmental conditions from 4,000 years ago. Number 6. Beneath the Surface At one point in time in ancient Egypt, the kings of Kush were in power. But when Aspelta came into power in 593 to 568 BC, the Kush only ruled their own kingdom but still referred to themselves as the kings of Egypt. Excavations have continued where they were based, which is in present-day Sudan. Archaeologists have been spending time inside a temple of the Egyptian god Amun, and they have recently picked up sought-after fragments and managed to piece together the face of Aspelta. Thought to be 2,600 years old, Aspelta was said to be king of Upper and Lower Egypt. Number 5. Try and Try Again This is a great story of try and try again. Roughly 4,600 years ago, King Sneferu of the 4th Dynasty built the very first smooth-sided pyramid. He didn't get it right the first time, though, and had a rather embarrassing failure with his bent pyramid. His first attempt saw the pyramid change from a 54-degree angle at the base to 43 degrees halfway up. Now, just south of all this is the Royal Cemetery of Dashur, where a new pyramid was recently discovered. This one is from the Middle Kingdom and believed to belong to King Ameni Kamau, who ruled during the 13th dynasty. Number 4. It's All There An intact tomb was found at Kubet al Hawa Aswan, which is an area well known for great finds. Fourteen tombs of members of the ruling class of the river island of Elephantine were discovered and in March 2017, yet another tomb was uncovered. The occupant is believed to be a brother of Sarenput II, an important governor of the 12th dynasty. The best part was that the tomb was in such excellent condition and there was a range of funerary goods inside, including some pottery, wooden figures, two cedar coffins and the mummy, as well as the mask, were all well preserved. Number 3. The Search Has Ended Quite a while back in 1907, two mummies were discovered that ended up causing a lot of frustration for researchers. They were found 250 miles south of Cairo, side by side, and estimated to be 4,000 years old. Named Knum Nacht and Nacht Ankh, they were thought to be royalty due to their rich tombs. On each coffin was the name Knum A, a female name that many believe to be their mother. Only recently have scientists been able to confirm this information. Number 2. Ankle Deep We're back in Luxor, where eight mummies were recently found in a tomb. It was April of 2018 when these mummies were found alongside more than 1,000 statues and several coffins inside an ancient noble's tomb near the Valley of the Kings. What made the discovery a little unusual was that the coffins were beautifully decorated in red, blue, black, green, and yellow. Excavations continue.
Number 1. The Search Continues Queen Ankh-Nespepi II ruled Egypt during the 6th dynasty until her son was old enough to take over. She was a rather influential woman and had pyramid texts carved into her monuments. Archaeologists are currently searching for her satellite pyramids, and late into 2017 they unearthed an obelisk that used to belong to her close to Saqqara Necropolis south of Cairo. Shortly thereafter, they found a pyramidion, which is the top of a pyramid, thought to have been sheathed in gold and and copper to reflect the sun during her time in power. The search in that area also continues. We hope you enjoyed today's video. What was the most interesting find to you? Comment down below and let us know. Subscribe to our channel for more daily videos and thanks for watching.